Hi everyone, it's Mari. Welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited to be back for the Vicky Booten design team working with Color Study. And we have the design team has an international scrapbooking day challenge over on Vicky's community page. And so if you hop over there, you can participate in the challenges and be entered to win uh, for a $25 gift card to Vicky's shop. And so what I'm doing here for my challenge is I am working on a monochromatic project. And this is actually kind of interesting because color study is super colorful and I am going to create a black and white project today which is not only different for me but obviously um, probably seems really strange when you consider the color palette of the collection but this is a challenge so I wanted to challenge myself and see if I could work mostly within the collection and using Vicky's product and see what I could come up with with this black art crayon. So I've taped off the edges of my foundations paper and I've uh, scribbled my art crayon down on some acetate, just on some plastic packaging, and I've added water to it. And now you can just see that with the paintbrush and with the plastic packaging, I'm adding the art crayon pigment onto my paper. And so it's just a process of wetting it and drying it and wetting it and drying it and layering the wet on top of the dry until I have the whole page, the whole white space um, covered with this black medium. And it's just going to look really splotchy and, and just really distressed and interesting looking. And I really love how it turns out when I'm all finished. So here you can just see I'm also going to add some splatters and just really having fun applying that black art crayon, just really wanting to go with this monochromatic color scheme so you could actually do this with an actual color so if you wanted to use pink or teal or any one of your favorite colors to try a monochromatic color scheme and then if you're using color study choose uh, papers and ephemera that are all within that um, color palette that you're using so I was really really inspired by the gallery paper have you guys seen it it's beautiful and you're gonna see some fussy cut pieces that I used from that paper for embellishments on my project today but it is the it's the paper that has the it's it's kind of black and white but there's a little tiny little bit of green and kind of like a little bit of sort of an antique linen kind of a color and <clears throat> that paper like I said is what really inspired me for this black and white color scheme and I fussy cut some flowers from that paper that are just black and white or black and kind of like off-white and the other side of that paper is so colorful and so pretty and just beautiful but I just thought it was a really interesting challenge to just try to use those um, fussy cut florals here as some embellishments and this black art crayon to create my monochromatic color scheme. So here you can just see I'm just continuing to water down the crayon and continuing to add it over to the edges of the paper. I wanted to go right over top of the tape and this is like real painter's tape. It's like frog tape. I don't know if you guys know about frog tape, but it's a really great tape for really sealing off your edges and there's no bleed underneath it um, or very little anyways the bleed underneath the paper is super minimal now i wanted some really nice big droplets of the <clears throat> pigment on here as well and i'm going to dry that so that it it um you can really see those splotches and splatters and just going to finish up with a few little fine splatters of the black art crayon and then I am going to make sure that's all dry. I'm going to take the tape off and then I'm going to run this through my laminator. And my laminator is just going to flatten my paper nicely so that when I go to work on it, it's not quite as buckled from all of that water. Now, this is the stamp set from Color Study, which is just a really fun stamp set. I really love these florals and they match the florals in the gallery paper perfectly. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each one of the different sizes of these florals and I'm going to uh, dip them into the the art crayon the black art crayon and then I'm going to put them onto the paper and they're just going to add this really cool fun watercolored floral image and once those are all dry I will be ready to move on to my next next step so I'm going to add those to the bottom right corner of my project and the top left corner 
So you'll just see me stamping that out and I do the exact same thing to the other corner. Now I'm using some of Vicky's silver glaze medium and I'm going to use Vicky's stencil brush, the big stencil brush, and I'm going to run that through by dry brushing it through one of the bubbles stencils from Color Study. And I'm not going to put this on too thickly. I'm just gonna apply a really nice thin coat and it's just going to add a little bit of shine and still within our monochromatic, monochromatic color scheme, it's going to add a little bit more layering and texture onto the project. So here you can just see I'm adding it to the other corner as well where the, the florals are so that there's going to be florals and the stenciling in the two different sort of corner areas of the project. Now I'm also going to take the um, metallic stamp set from Vicky and I'm going to stamp that floral stamp again with kind of like the gunmetal um, ink and I'm going to stamp that onto some tissue paper and I'm going to stamp the florals and those little splat marks from that stamp set onto that all onto that tissue paper and this is going to be a layering piece behind my photograph so this is going to be basically going to be my photo mat and you're not going to see all of it it's just going to be like tiny little bits of it poking out of the edges of my photo but I really like how this does look and it just adds some really fun texture behind my photograph so here you can just see I'm finishing up with this process I'm going to stamp out that splatter stamp this is a really fun stamp. I think this is really cool. I think this would be really fun heat embossed with some gold embossing powder. I'm definitely going to be trying that on a project soon. So here you can just see I'm stamping that out onto my tissue paper and getting that all ready to go. And I will trim that up so that it fits nicely behind my photo. And I am working with a four by three photo today. I'm going to take another one of the stamps from that same stamp set and stamp it out a couple of times just because I wanted to make sure that um, I had a spare just in case when I fussy cut it I make an oops. So I'm just using some Versa VersaFine Claire really nice crisp black ink and I'm going to stamp a couple of those little labels out and I, I'll use that as an embellishment. Now I've also taken a little strip of the washi tape from Color Study. This is the black thin skinny washi tape and I'm using that as a holding spot a place to um, like a little ledge for my photo. My four by three black and white photo is just a silly photo of myself. Obviously this is a snapshot Snapchat filter. This was taken about a year ago or so. And here you can just see I'm pop, I've popped that up on some foam adhesive onto that tissue paper that I stamped. There's that little label that I stamped as well that I've now fussy cut and I've popped it up on a pop dot as well behind the photo. And this, I'm also going to use a few embellishments from a previous collection of Vicky's, uh, just because there weren't that many black and white die cuts in Color Study because it's beautifully color colorful, right? So I just am grabbing a couple of other little bits from another collection to help me out here with to continue with my monochromatic color scheme. Now this is my cut file that I created for the um, for International Scrapbooking Day. It's a large flower with a couple of leaves and I just wanted it as a nice white layering piece in behind my photo. It doesn't really, the floral doesn't really match up with the florals that are in the collection. So, or at least the floral that I'm using here. So I'm going to just use it as a really nice fine white layering piece. You'll mostly just see the edges of the flower and then the leaves. And now I'm going to just show you here. These are the fussy cut florals from the gallery paper. I'm going to use, I think I use um, five flowers in total. I'm going to layer up on top of the journaling card here with another little die cut piece that says capture or um, capture the life you love, I guess is what it says in its entirety and I'm going to pop that up on some foam adhesive and add that up to the top and I really love this die cut paper clip or a large bulldog clip piece I'm going to include that on that journaling card as well it is going to poke up off the edge of the paper so in the still shots of the photo you can't see the top of that clip but that's okay um it's fine I just like how it sticks up off the edge of the paper I think that looks really cool and I just think it looks interesting layered like that up in that corner and it looks like it's clipped onto 
that journaling spot. So I just think that looks neat. And I wanted to put that on an angle just because I thought it looked a little bit more interesting like that. And I am going to go into that white space, which I kind of regret a little bit. I wish I would have kept that journaling spot over to the left a little bit, but it does look fine. It's just maybe not the greatest placement of that element. I am using some black soot distress ink to um, you to ink up the edges of my alphas and this is part of the cut file as well the cut files uh, title or creates a title BU on this on this layout now I did initially put that half circle over to the right of that but I am going to move that to the left side of that area and put another floral up there you'll see that at the end I pop up all of the different alphas to spell out the title BU on some foam adhesive and I'm just going to move a few things around and add a couple more flowers to finish off my project and then I'm also going to add some journaling strips and this is going to be my monochromatic layout. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you were inspired to create monochromatic and if you just absolutely hate the black and white, that's okay. Create your own color scheme. Use some yellow, use some pink, use some orange, whatever you would like to use and challenge yourself to do a monochromatic color scheme. It's fun. I love a good challenge. And this was definitely a challenge for me to choose the right photo, to choose the right embellishments. Um, I loved creating the background. It was so much fun with that black crayon. And I just had a blast making this and I hope you enjoyed watching. Um, here's just, there's just a little transition. I'm going to show you here how I moved that half circle to the other side. I added another couple of flowers just to balance the layout off a little bit more. I would love if you enter the challenge over on Vicky's community page, um, post a picture of your photo or a photo of your layout there, and we will be picking winners to from all of the people who entered the challenge. Thanks so much, guys. Have an amazing day and happy International Scrapbooking Day.